Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Hunters. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an exciting shield logo design video from start to finish. From this video, you will learn how to make your design modern from the flat design, as well as show you how to choose perfect color for your design. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. As you know that, today's logo will be design and shield. So, first of all, we need to create a shield in which we will design our logo. So, take ellipse tool. And draw a circle. Turn off the fill color. Duplicate the circle by hold alter and place it little bit far like that. Now take line segment tool and draw a line. Go transform and rotate the line 30 degree. Now reverse the rotate line. For reverse, click right button of mouse, select transform, select reflect and click on OK. Now select the two lines, and make it group. Now place it middle of the two circle. For making perfect shield, sometimes you may need to up and down the line as your need like that. Now select the two circle and make it bottom align and group it. Now select everything and make it middle align center. If I take brush tool and draw the shield over the circle and lines, I think you guys can easily understand the actual thing what I'm going to make. Now take rectangle tool and draw a rectangle equal to the shield side like that. Now select everything and make middle align center. Again select everything and take shape builder tool and delete these extra lines without the shield by hold alter. Take move tool, and select these extra lines, and delete these. As you can see guys, there are two shield created. So select the one shield, and move it like that. Now take move tool, and curve the two corner like that. Now delete the left one, because we don't need this. As you can see guys, I have created the shield very easily. If you don't make shield, there are many shield are available on Google, just download and use for your design. In this shield, I will design S letter logo. For making any letter, first you have to make grid. So take line segment tool and draw a line. Copy the line by hold alter and make total 12 lines by hold control and pressing D. Now select these lines and make it bottom align and make it group. Now go transform and make it 30 degree. Now reverse the rotate lines like that.
Now select these lines and make it group. Now select everything and make it middle align center. Now perfectly place the shield on the lines like that. I think the shield perfectly place on the line. If you have confusion about the perfection, go outline mode by press Ctrl Y. As you can see guys, the shield perfectly placed. So go normal mode by press Ctrl Y. Now select the shield, and copy it. For copy, go object. Select copy. Again go object, and select paste in place. Now make the shield smaller to the one line like that. Again do it. Ok, I have placed the shield perfectly on the lines. Now select everything. Take shape builder tool. Must turn on the fill color. Now carefully draw the S letter on this grid like that. You can also draw other letter as your need. One important thing, while drawing your logo letter on grid, try to carefully fill up each and every gap, otherwise your design will not be perfect. As you can see guys, I have drawn the logo on grid perfectly. Now I need to move the logo above from the grid. For moving the logo, first you need to ungroup the design. After completing the ungroup, now hold shift and select the design part. Now move it above from the line. As you can see guys, there is a mistake in the design. So go back and fix it. Okay, that's good. We have fixed it. Now select the design and increase the stroke color. Now go object and select path, select outline stroke. Now go pathfinder and make it united. As you can see guys, I have perfectly designed the logo very easily. Now I'm adding a gradient color to the design, so go you gradient website, and choose a color that you want to add. I think, this red gradient color is perfect for the logo. So I download it. Now select the logo and take eyedropper tool and use the gradient color. Ok, that's perfect.
So friends, here's our finished masterpiece. I hope you loved watching this design come to life. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more creative content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and keep unleashing your creativity.